Let me take you deeper in this word that this girl was preaching about. Bible the Bible says, everybody look here. That by a prophet, the Lord delivered Israel from Egypt. And by a prophet, the Lord preserved him. Listen. And look at me. Amen. Amen. It is God who did it. Okay. Amen. He didn't do it because of people. He did it because of the prophets. Now, there is a mystery here. The word the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. It means the prophets is the one God used as a means of transport to take them from one place and to take them to another place. When you stand and say agenda muchibuga ngakozesa boda it means you couldn't walk to Kampala if the boda boda wasn't around. I went to Jinja by a taxi by a taxi it means it is the taxi that was the means of transport that took you from Mukono to Jinja. Every person you need a prophet to take you from where you were born to your destiny. You've not understood it well. Every person, the way you were, is not where you're supposed to die from. Some of you were born in a family, families that are full of witchcraft. You, you need a means of transport to take you from there to another place. And the means God uses is called the prophet. Is called the prophet. Is called the prophet. Like you use a taxi to Kampala. The transportation that takes you to your promises is called the prophet. Tell your neighbor, get into the prophets and then you move. Praise the Lord. Number two. The Bible says he by a prophet he was preserved. 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 Okay. Can't you tell me? Let me simplify it in this way. You can keep beans and you preserve them from being attacked with insects. You put their medicine to preserve the beans for these beans not to get spoiled. They say you preserve them. There are people who make juice Preserving. And they preserve the juice. juice so that the juice doesn't go bad. The people who make milk. Preserving. And they preserve the milk. So that it doesn't get spoiled. Preserving so preserving something. It means you're protecting it from being spoiled. For it to spend the time it's supposed to spend. So what you put 
in preserving life, God puts it in the prophets. God can do it himself but he says by a prophet God preserved Israel there are people here they are waiting for you to get rotten but they will see you living longer than they Preserving. Because in you there is something that is preserving you. What do want to about one? There are people here. Whoever was praying for you to die is going to die until they die. But you will not die. Because you have a preservative in you. Tell your neighbor, preserve. They preserve food. By preserving a meeting. For it to last longer. By preserving a meeting. You preserve food. It cannot go bad. Even you here. You will not get messed up. The children of the prophets don't go off market. Every generation they always survive. Every generation they always survive. There are people who are here. People are going to wonder why are you not getting old? Because I have a prophet. Why don't you go? Because I have a prophet. Because I have a prophet. Praise the Lord. You have to be proud. Because you have a prophet. Preserving. For God to preserve you, He waits for you to get a prophet. The preservation ingredient is found in the prophet. Every preservation ingredient. It is found in a prophet. Find a prophet, you shall be preserved. When others die, you shall be preserved. When others are fired from your workplace, you shall be preserved. When others are caught are, are, are up in car accidents, you shall be preserved. When others are confused, stranded, confounded, you shall be preserved. When others don't know what to do, where to go in their situation, you shall be preserved. When others are betrayed, you shall be preserved. When others are falsely accused, you shall be preserved. How do you get preserved? By a prophet. By a prophet. By a prophet. Honor your prophet and you shall be preserved. You've not understood it. Honor your prophet. And you shall be preserved. To be preserved, the chitagaza. Okuangala means. Sukuangala. O kutaliza. Kutaliza. O mani. O kutaliza chigamo chabarimi. It is a word for the farmers. O mulimia kulu o mudo na taliza. Empekeyaka soli. A farmer weeds to protect, to preserve. 
his maze. Katia bila langa babita, gweba genda kufukira bufukirizi bakutali zose galewo. When others are being killed, they will just plow you and you will leave. Bagenda kutali za. They will preserve you. Ama kamara langa gafa, agago gagenda kutali zipwa. When other marriages are breaking down, yours will be preserved. By a prophet. Kuluana bi. By a prophet. Kuluana bi. The secret of life. Echama chobulamu. Is when you find a prophet. Bofuna nabi. The secret of life. Echama chobulamu. Is when you find a prophet. Bofuna nabi. Is when you find a prophet. Bofuna nabi. Is when you find a prophet. Bofuna nabi. Israel was in Egypt for 400 years and 30. Israel yali misiri okumale miaka bina asatu. Until Paka, a prophet was born. Nabi boya zaliwa. Katonde yali adinze chintu chimu. Now he is waiting for one thing. Nabi. The prophets. And you cover Jemisi. So that he can deliver them from Egypt. There are people who are here. God is waiting for you to honor the prophets. So that he can fight your enemies. So that he can take you back to show you that he's around. So that he can make you the head another time. So that he can put you on top and shame your enemies. He's waiting for one thing. H. One thing. H. One thing. H. One thing. Get a prophet. Kuna nabi. 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 Chukra neba mge funa nabi. Tell your neighbor get a prophet. Nabi entambule kutusa jolaga. Nabi is the transportation that is taking you to your destiny. Yentambula. That's the transportation. Aba mukufa tetuandi but na wetuli singak tetuwa ingira entambula ya nabi. Some of us we wouldn't be the way we are if we didn't get the transportation of the prophet. Bosanga nabi obula mubuta ndiko kuchuka. When you meet the prophet life starts changing. Destiny starts being rectified. There are people here you wouldn't be good. While you're seated, you wouldn't be there. Brother opened up to swallow you. But God is the prophet. To preserve your life. To preserve your life. To preserve your life. To preserve your life. Serve your life. Abamu kumwe. Some of you. Temwadi put, but then kabu tutde wa mutu. You wouldn't be seated where you're sitting. Nebo wasanga na. But when you met a prophet. Hey. 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 Satan is lying. Satan is lying. Amanya ga kujacho wali. The power that took you from where you were. Taka na kuaga taka kwa kutu se jola ga. Start to encounter you and take it to your destiny. Taka na kufang atoto se. You will not die without reaching your destiny. Shara bakaterebo. Taka na kufang atoto se. You won't die without reaching your destiny. Puri ari wano kanjo gerebi kambobi. Every person here let me speak this words. Ava da plani ngo kuta. Whoever was planning to kill you. Is going to resurrect. And see that you are unusual. There is an ingredient that says that you don't. Have. You have an ingredient that says you can't be eaten. You have an ingredient that says you can't be on top. Whoever tries to pull you down, you step on them and call. You step on them and continue. And you believe in stand up and you jump. He was not jumped, does not believe it. You know in church there are believers and there are spies. Listen. Whoever tries to pull you from top, hey, hey, your God is going to put them down. 
and he will be another step on so that you step and continue going up listen you can't fight with a person who has a prophet you can't you cannot you cannot you can't God would have done it himself but he said he said he said by a prophet I have power to do it but you need a transportation to bring you to me you need a transportation to take you to the government that draws you closer so that I can take you to the enemies it can draw you closer and you raise your midst your enemies you need a transportation A person who has a prophet is impossible. Some of you who are here, they try to fight you. But you seem so hard. You are so hard. Oh my God. You are impossible. Even if they are higher than you. If they want to go down, let them dare try you. Let them dare try you. Hey. Mm. The Bible says the prophets is a trap. Is a trap. They're always there as traps. When you try to fight him, you are being trapped. When you try to abuse him, you are stopping in a trap. When you try to put him down, you are getting into the trap. There are people who get trapped without knowing that those who are fighting you they don't know the power that took you where you are they don't know they are fighting you because you built a house the power that built the house they don't know where it came from they are getting into the trap Hey. There are people when you realize that your child of a prophet starts walking in capital letters. The Bible says, I'll quarrel with he who quarrels with you. I will, I will contend with him who contends with me. You. Let's take the common Uganda. Praise the Lord. Amen. Bible. I will contend with he. Do you have anyone who is insulting you? Do you have anyone insulting you? Oh uh oh. <laughs> Do you have anyone insulting you? That is Isaiah 40, 50 something. Listen. Do you have anyone who contends with you? Do you have anyone you pass by and they contain? Do you have anyone angry at you? Listen. Listen. 
Thus says the Lord. Even they who are powerful. That's where taken. Shall be rescued. Shall be taken away. No munyabo go bentisa. Guri tebra. Kubanga and the yomba no yo. A yomba na we. What wabang to body one? Nga kuyomba so inamita kongo kaga. There are people who are here who insults you. You have to pass by them when you're boasting. You have to learn how to look at him. And you walk in capital letters. Because God says the Lord. I will contend. Ask your neighbor who are they? Yeah, itachi. Yeah, itachi. Mukama agambi. The Lord has said, Nenda kuyomba no yo. I will contend with he. Ayomba na we. That contends with you. Nebu aba aleka no kuchire nyonza. Even if they shout loud. Nenda kuyomba no yo akolachi. I will contend with he that contends with you. There are people when they insult you, you need to be silent. When they abuse you, you need to be silent. Because he who that we believed when he starts a battle, I will contend with him that contends with you. Mm. Do you have a co-wife that contains you? Do you have a co-wife who insults you? Even if it's your husband. If he insults you with no reason. God will insult him through the dream. And you'll see him laughing in the morning. He who slept while quarreling. And that is going to happen today. I will contend with he that contends with you. If you are a child of a prophet, whoever tries to insult you, that is going to insult them and they will never forget. Do I have born against all religious people? Do I have born against all religious people? Do you have anyone who insults you? They look at you and they bless you. They don't want to talk with you. Worry not. Just raise your hands to God. Let him contend with he that contends with you. Mm. Hey. Quarreling is different. There are those who quarrel in your absence. And when you appear, they laugh. When you're not around, they quarrel. But whatever form they use to insult you, God has said, I will contend with those that contend with you. So whoever is here and his poverty contend with you, God is going to rise and he will contend with poverty. Whoever is here and you are contending with God, God is going to rise and contend with God. Whoever is here and you are contending with God, God is going to rise and contend with God. May the Lord God arise. Listen. After God contending with them, He says, I will rescue your children. I will rescue your children. 
they threw your child in a trap. They messed up your child. They God is going to pass by your back and start up a battle. This God is going to pass behind you without you knowing. Without you knowing. They will spend sleepless nights without you knowing. May God sets up a battle. here God is going to contend on your behalf there is a tribe I know those are the Banyarwanda they are called Mparanirako if one Munyarwanda hates you, the whole community hates you. Praise the Lord. Amen. And if a Munyarwanda leaves the church, he takes all the Banyarwanda in the church. If Amnyarwanda is to start a battle with you, he or she will make sure that the fellow Banyarwanda don't love you too. If Amnyarwanda say amen, Praise the Lord. So even God has such a thick habit. He says, he who touches you has caught on my eyes. Why? Because you're mine. I will contend with he that contends with you. I will rescue your marriage. There is a person here. I hear this very well. The Lord is speaking it. God is going to contend with that person. And he will rescue your marriage. Your marriage is going to be rescued. Oh my God. I think the Holy Spirit is encountering someone. The Lord is saying, He's going to rescue your marriage. There is a person here. The Lord is saying, He's going to contend with He that contends with you. And he's going to rescue your marriage. Your marriage shall not be messed up. Those who are waiting for your marriage, they will wait and they won't see it collapse. They will wait and they will not see it collapse. I will contend with he that contends with you. There is a person who was at your business, their work. Is to divert customers. There are three people. I feel the Holy Spirit. He's saying he's going to contend on your behalf. Business, yo. Your business. There are three people. The Spirit of the Lord is saying he has already reached your business. He has started contending. There is the first person. There is the second person. I feel the second person. They were contending with 
with you at your business. They were with you at your business. But the Lord is saying, Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I feel, I feel that that person, that person is on the that person is in the congregation. Mukamurapa kateremoko. Mukama agamba. The Lord is saying, Again, no kuyomba no hoyo. Yeah, he done the ripawo. They call themselves your neighbor. Now you end up yah calling a tori wo. Yeah, he done mukwa no go. They call themselves your friend. Maybe a calling a tori wo. But what they do in your absence? Oh my, mukama agamba. Lord is saying, Again, no kuyomba no hoyo. He's going to contend with he. Ayomba na. That contends with you. Again, the kuyomba no hoyo. He's going to contend with he. Ayomba na. That contends with you. Again. Is going to contend. There are three women here. The enemy wants to make you to lose your marriage. The enemy wants to make you to lose your marriage. But the reason why you're losing your marriage. There are people who are trying to insult you. They are going behind you. And they start to battle. But the Lord is saying. The spirit has been there before you. Every person where you are puts the things you have down. Puts whatever you're having down. If you can silence the children, help me. Because I feel this moment is consecrated to God. The Spirit of the Lord is saying, there are people that is touching hands and he's rescuing you from the battle that was bigger than you. There are five people those who are fighting you were your family members. There are five. Your battle is not par. Your battle is in the family. But there is the power of God that is encountering you now. Choose those people one, two, three, four, five. I say there are five. Let the spirit of the Lord choose them. The battle you're fighting is not fire, it is home. It is home. Those who have become your enemies are your family members. Those who are trying to fight you are your family members. But the Lord is saying, I will contend with he that contends with you. There are people, five of them, the God who contends is starting to choose them out. The God who fights your battles. God who fights your battles. The people, there are five people. Jesus. Yes, Holy Spirit. Choose them. You say they are here. Fill them with the Holy Spirit. Teach their hands to fight. So that they can break every stronghold. Whatever had bound in their families. Be because you told me that the chosen wants to become light in their families. But every person in their family is fighting them. But they're the ones he chose to hold the family flag. Lord, please. 
he's choose them. Those that he chose are here. Those that he chose are here. The switch of the Lord is choosing them. The switch of the Lord is the switch of the Lord is choosing them the reason why they are fighting you because God chose you because your light in the family because it's you is going to do what has never been in your family God is choosing them God is choosing them He's filling them with the Holy Spirit He's filling them with the Holy Spirit. 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 I thought that you are going to die. I thought that you are going to die. But that sickness is not going to kill you. Because there is a prophet. The power of a prophet. That God put upon the prophet. May it well help you to fight. May it help you to fight. May it help you to fight. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Give me more to people. That you're going to answer their prayers. And that prayer is going to make them so different in their family. Whatever had bound their families. God is choosing other two people. That are going to break the family reproaches. They are going to break the family reproaches. They are going to break the family yokes. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. By your prophet. And by a prophetic anointing. Listen, by a prophetic anointing. The Lord shall preserve you. The Lord is showing me seven people. Yes, there are eight. That he's anointing, giving a prophetic anointing. That he's giving the anointing of prophetic anointing. Prophetic anointing that is going to make you so special from other people. God, let me see the one you've chosen. God, let me see the one you've chosen. Prophetic anointing. I'm a puta gonna be. You will see things and they'll be fulfilled. Prophetic anointing. You will also be among those that are called those that I don't understand. People will ask themselves how you do this. The way you've gotten money. Prophetic anointing. There are seven people are receiving a prophetic anointing. Receiving the prophetic anointing. From behind. From behind. From behind. It is coming still in place. Starting from behind. Prophetic anointing. Prophets are rising from this place. But prophetic anointing. Prophetic anointing. People will ask themselves. You've also become a prophet. The where things are being done. They also don't understand. They will also ask themselves. What happened to you? Prophetic anointing. Prophetic anointing. I'm a gonna be. There is a lady I'm seeing behind me. Mukama kujusa prophetic anointing. The Lord is filling you with their prophetic anointing. There is a girl I'm seeing behind there. 
Mukama kuchalia in the prophetic. The Lord is visiting you in the prophetic. 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 Holy Spirit. Amoyo mutukovu. Holy Spirit. Omoye mutukovu. I feel the anointing is so a lot in this place. I see the angels surrounding this place. I see the streets of the Lord. Has spread his wings in this place. Hey, hey, hey. <sighs> Prophetic anointing. I'm a put a girl would not be. Prophetic anointing. I'm a put a girl would not be. A gakutuala mwebio katonda be a kuteka take. That is taking you where God prepared for you. A gakutu sa jolaga. That is taking you to your destiny. A gakutuala mumbagayo. That is taking you to your wedding. Prophetic anointing. I'm a put a girl would not be. Prophetic anointing. I'm a put a girl should not be. Prophetic anointing. I'm a put a girl would not be. Hey hey. There are two girls. The Lord is saying He chose you. But Satan wanted to kill you. Satan, Satan wanted you dead before you reached a By a prophetic anointing. I cast out the dead. I cast out the dead. There are three people in this place. God is saying he's going to to contend with Hagar. He's going to contend with your Hagar. He's going to contend with your Hagar. And he'll rescue your marriage. He's going to contend with your Hagar. And he'll rescue your marriage. To rescue your marriage. He's going to rescue your marriage. Holy Spirit. 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 You told me you're going to be here with us. Truly, I've gotten to know you are here. Truly, you are here. Truly, you are here. Praise the Lord. We are in the season of praying.
They don't want to yam bam food day. They don't want to yam bam pet day. They don't want to yam bam yes. They don't want to yam bam pet day. Yes, you want to yam bam food day. What my want to yam bam pet day. They don't want to yam bam. They don't want to yam bam pet day. A mighty hand clap for Jesus. Today, there is something I wanted to jazz with you. But the Holy Spirit has taken over. But allow me to give you this story. Okay? Let me give you this story. I was reading the Bible in the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 19 up to 21. I want everyone to write down these words. They are going to help you in this season of praying to God. Most especially praying to God for money. I want you to know Matthew. 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 My goodness. Where are you, Jonah? Yes, Matthew chapter 6, verse 19 to 21. Bible Gamba. Lay up for yourselves treasures. No. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon the earth. Where moth and rust doth corrupt. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break and steal but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal for where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. Matayo mokaga kumi na muenda, paka kwa bidi muemo. Temwe tere kera ngabi intukunse, kubio na ne kera ne nyenge. Tere kama luzung. Na vuta lagi, na ba bi kweba sima, kweba simi ra ne baba. Na yemwe tere kera ngabi intomo gulu, jebi tayo na ne kera ne. Jebita yono nekera, ne nyenje, ne wankubade ovutalage, so na ababi jebata sima, so jebata bira. Kupange bintu vya webi vera, omotima guo jegubira. Now, buli omotu nolira. Everyone look at me. Tunolira buli unji. Look at me carefully. Ngato temia. Without blinking. Praise the Lord. Mukama eva ziwe. So koleke, my daughter, rest a little bit. Let me ask you a question. Where do you keep your treasures? Hmm? Some of us keep it in the bank. Some of us keep it under the pillow. Some of us keep it in the land. Some of us keep it in the, in the houses for renting. Some of us we say we've kept it in our children. Ask your neighbor Amen. Amen. Now we are followers of our Lord Jesus. And our Lord Jesus says keep your treasures in heaven. It means 
There is a way you can keep for yourself. The Bible doesn't say that give the Lord. The Bible says keep yourselves. Something that you brought to the Lord, you put it on your heavenly account. Listen. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, keep your treasures in heaven. Where moth cannot reach. Where rust cannot reach. Even where thieves cannot break and steal it. So we have people their heavenly accounts are empty. But on earth they have land. On earth they have a lot of plots of land. On earth they have rentals. Completely Zero. But their heavenly account is at zero balance. Yes, we are together. Jesus told us. Is it possible for a person to keep their treasures in heaven? Whether you're beautiful or ugly, a day will come and you will go to heaven. What will you find there? What will you find there? Some of you, your wealth is in your stomachs. In your stomach, there are 40 sacks of Irish. Chicken wings. Liver. Akawunda. Pasho. In the stomach, there is a deep of portion. In your the stomach, there is a garden of potatoes. In your the stomach, there are beans that can feed the district of Mukono. The crates of sodas in your stomach. Amen. Some of you, your treasures are in your heads. Every hairstyle that you see, you have to put it there. My child, your head will become bald like pastors. Woe unto you who keeps your treasures in your head. Time will come, you're looking for hair to plant and it will not be there. And then you start tying wraps on your head. Some of you, your treasures are in your heads. Every hairstyle that comes. My child, when you die, it's hair that breaks first. Some of you, your treasures are in your stomachs. When you die, intestines are the ones to rot first. Praise the Lord. Some of you, your treasures are in land. When you die, they, they take you to the village. They want to bury you in Kampala. Amen. They won't give you any rental. 
Even the, when the tenants get to know that the landlord was buried there, they won't come back. Who is the treasure going to benefit? Who is it going to benefit? Tell your neighbor, pastor is talking to me. Some of you, your treasures are in the cars. When you die, immediately you die, that's when they share the car. They may even hide it at your funeral. They won't bury you with your car. Our Lord said, Keep your treasures. Keep yourselves. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. It means you're keeping yourself. Time will come and you'll find your treasures there. Whatever you give the Lord, you will find it in heaven. Whatever you give the Lord, it can't miss in heaven. Lay yourselves treasures in heaven. Where neither month ebiyenge no butala de we bita sobola kuzikiriza. Where neither month or rust can destroy. Abamu kumu abuga gaburi musim. Some of you your treasures are in the phone. Oh, to kumu simu zene jeng kute. The phone I'm having. Galaxy. It's a galaxy. Samsung. Samsung Galaxy. When the mouth gets damp, you can't talk or speak on that galaxy. Mm -hmm. So if you have land and you've never given God land, Praise the Lord. Ask your neighbor, neighbor. Which treasure of yours does God have? <laughs> Apart from a man, which treasure of yours does God have? Because where the treasures of a person is, is where their heart is. Where is your heart? There are those who are here, your heart is in the rentals. Ask your neighbor, neighbor, where is your heart? That's why people come to church, you preach to them, but they are absent minded. Because there is no treasure of theirs in church. Yeah. When it's raining, they don't pray. They're thinking of their cargo. When you're listening to the gospel, <laughs> there are clients she puts in the mantle. Lord, let them pay. Where is the heart? Where the treasure is? <laughs> Praise 
Praise the Lord. Nigeria is so But the gospel might end. And he asked them, what did Pastor preach about? The man preached the gospel. The heart was elsewhere. But if your treasures are with God, even your hearts will be with the Lord. Josephine, Josephine, have you heard? If I dare break the padlock, I'm finished. Keep your treasures. Lay out your treasure in heaven. Give God land in the city. But you give him that in the village where they can't even bury you. The person says a fool doesn't know a way to the city. Look for the land in the city and you say I've given that to the Lord. Who will shout a mighty amen. You will scream a mighty amen. Praise the Lord. Because where the treasures of a person is, is where the hearts be. God wants you to come to him with your whole heart. Even if you dare give God your rentals. He's, she's saying, Lord. She might be praying, God, protect myself. Because the capital is in the safe. Ask your neighbor, where is your heart? The admin is saying I've spent long without balancing. Will I do it in the morning? Because where are the treasures of a person are and God wants to be with your heart. Give God your heart, Fatuma. You have to give him your treasure. Also know that this there is a lady who was a prostitute, Virgin Mary. She saved money for a whole year and she bought a perfume. When she saw Jesus she poured the perfume onto her feet. And Jesus said, wherever this gospel reaches, the name of this woman will be talked about. Because what she has done, she is worthy to be talked about. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verse 12. What does it say? Mokama Mokama na kuguliranga weterekero lye edunje Katuliriza Buli omukwata mulirano muge Mokama na kugulira weterekero lye edunje Mokama na kugulira weterekero lye edunje Oshitenga ndi katonda ina materekero Do you know that God has to us Ah kwata ku neighbor muge neighbor so neighbor Mokama agenda kugulira weterekero lye edunje God will open up his good store Ask your neighbor, what did you keep there? There are those who are here when God opens up the store, it's only dust that comes out. Others, when He opens up words, are the ones to come out. Others, when God opens, it's jealousy that comes out. In your heaven store, what is there? The Bible says keep your treasures in heaven. So what is in your store? Ask your neighbor, neighbor. 
If God opens up your store, what will come out? Others' coins are the ones to come out. But the blessing that God gives you is from his heavenly store. He has his heaven treasure. So when he opens up the store, mm -hmm. what happens? Mokama na kuguli ranga wu etere korolye, edunje, egulu okugabe nkuba yensi yomobude buwari. Etere korolye edunje, the heaven liye gulu. Mm -hmm. No kuwa omokisa, omuli mogu na oguwa mokono guwa. Katuliriza, katonda wa gula wetere kero. When God opens up the store, chaso kukola. What he does first. Awo mokisa. He will bless the work of your hand. Whatever you touch speed. shall run very fast. Whatever you start shall not end on the way it has to be finished. When God opens up his star, what he does first is to bless the work of your hands. The blessing comes from the store. Hit your neighbor with an elbow and ask, What did you keep there? What did you keep there? In heaven. There's a person here. God wants you to keep him with land in heaven. Praise the Lord. What mm -hmm. did you keep in heaven? You shall learn to many nations. And you will never borrow. It means the streets of death. God is going to open up the store and will kill it. And you will start lending to other people. You'll come from lending to borrowing. I declare that in Jesus The streets of lending might die. And the streets of lending die. And God give you a blessing so that you can lend to others. Uh-huh. And the Lord will make you the head. Where does that blessing come from? The Lord will make you the head. If you know how to keep for yourself in heaven, you will never be the child. You will be the head. You will be the head. I declare my storehouse open up today. If you believe it, say amen. If you believe it, say amen. There is a person here. God is telling you. Give God something that is big. So that he can open up his store for you. So that he can open up his store. And he will bless the works of your hand. Before you read the scripture of God blessing the work of your hands, start with that of the stores. 
Where your treasure is, that is your heavenly store. I pray to God to open it up today. I pray to God to open it up today.